Ultimate Survival Cookware Setup. Everything you need to cook an infinite amount of meals is in here. It's lightweight, it's about one liter, it includes your stove, your pot, your utensils, and your fire starting material. So I'm going to share with you the contents of this kit. The Solo Stove. Excellent stove. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the ultimate cooking and heating setup for your bug out bag, your I'm never coming home bag, your survival kit, or even just a camping or hiking bag. The number one reason why I like this system is that it allows you to utilize fuel from nature and it burns it in a way that's almost as good as your propane and gas powered personal stoves. It's compact and lightweight. It's definitely, uh, for a person who's into the ultralight camping thing, it's easy to use. It's relatively fast, as I said, and it's going to last forever. Now, personally, I don't get any kickbacks from a solo stove. If I see a product that I believe in and I think it's, it's good, you know, I'm definitely going to get behind it and do a review on it. And this is something I've been using for the past couple of years now. And honestly, it's a great stove. So I just uh, wanted to share this system with you because I do believe that this is the most effective system for any sort of survivalist to look into. I'm just going to show you the jet boil for size comparison. So, and just so you know, all of the stuff that you see here, with the exception of the Swiss Army knife and the the tea bag, is going to fit inside this pot. So it's a lot smaller than the jet boil. Granted, the jet boil is much faster at heating water. This is going to allow you to heat an infinite amount of water if need be. So I'm just going to quickly give you a rundown of the solo stove. I've already talked about that item in a review that I'm going to post a link to in the top right corner here. But I'll just give you a brief overview of what it is. As I said, it uses sticks, twigs, any sort of fuel that you can find in nature, paper, whatever, grass, <clears throat> it's going to burn it up. It's efficient, so it's it's designed in such a way that it's going to provide a consistent heat and it's going to maximize the amount of heat that you can get out of the smallest amount of fuel. It's clean burning, so there's not going to be a lot of dirty smoke and it's uh, made of premium quality stainless steel, which is hardened and lightweight. So it's definitely going to last a long time. Now, the only downside I have to the solo stove pot is that there's no grooves or indentations to match the prongs that extend from the, the burner there. And that would just be nice to add a bit more stability to it. You can get a tripod for the solo stove pot, but for me, as I'm into the lightweight aspect of this, uh, I'm not really too much into the accessories that solo stove offers but they do offer a few there is a portable windscreen that you can use but I mean there's so many ways to make your own windscreen in nature I don't know why you would do that uh, there's a tripod there is a portable alcohol burner that goes inside the solo stove pot and as I said if you want to know more about the solo stove pot just click on that link and it will give you more information I'll essentially show you how it packs down it's very simple So, solo stove goes in there. You can put whatever you want in there. You can put a fire kit. It only goes down a couple inches because there is a bit of a grill there. My fire kit. Put that in there like so. That's part of my fire kit. And I'm going to do a review on that at some point. Put that in there. And if you want, you could just put a piece of duct tape or something over there just to make sure it stays together. But it actually does come with a bit of a cozy here. So you put that in here. Zips up. And you got your complete kit minus the spoon or spork. 
and that's easy to put in there as well if you get one of those folding ones. And that's your complete cooking kit in one little, you know, I don't know, one liter size. And I mean, this is going to allow you to cook things indefinitely. So that's the difference between this and the whisper light stoves that come with the fuel is that you got to remember, this is going to last forever. The stainless steel is probably one of the best stainless steels you can get. Now this is going to run you $110. Granted, that might seem a little pricey, but then again, when you think about how much you're paying for those higher-end gas and propane hiking stoves, then, you know, that's uh, something to take into consideration. A couple updates that I've made to the mess kit. I've added a salt and pepper shaker, which is by MSR. You can get them by Koglins, or there's a lot of different types. You could just throw a normal salt shaker in there. I would only put salt in this. The salt is worth 10 times as much as pepper in a survival situation. Uh, also, I added these Koglin stainless steel cutlery set. It's just big enough that I can fit it alongside the cozy in the pot here. So when I put everything together, it's still going to be a nice snug fit. So you have your complete cooking system in there. And of course, the uh, fire kit and the uh, salt shaker will fit in here as well as well as the solo stove so one more thing i should mention about this system is that it can also be used to heat a personal space uh, could be used to you know just a, as a shelter component to it or as a heat source so that definitely could be a lifesaver in that respect and there's not many stoves that can do that as you're wanting to conserve here fuel that you would have in those other stoves, obviously for cooking. So that's something to take into consideration. Now we're going to take this out to the field, cook something up, and we'll show you how it works. So today I'm going to be demonstrating the solo stove pot. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to be cooking some soup. And if I get hungry, I'm going to try out this chili mix, Camp Traditions chili mix. So what I'm going to need for this obviously is some fire starting material. I'm going to be using a fire disc, which I'm going to be demonstrating in another video. And I'm going to be using the Swiss Army tool to open the cans. And it's also a great tool for harvesting some kindling. Or in the solo stoves uh, case, this is really your logs. And also uh, lucked out and found some birch. So uh, got some nice birch paper there. We have our Vaseline tinder. I'm just gonna throw a whole one in there to get the party started quick. I mean, a lighter is gonna work fine. Stormproof match, it's gonna work a lot better. So once this baby gets going, there's no stopping it. Now I'm gonna start putting in little pieces of fuel. Put in some of this birch bark to get the party really started. You're going to get some coals down in there. And uh, at that point, it gets so hot in there. And that's why I put a little box over my sled, just because I don't want it to melt the sled. That could happen. And once you get it hot enough, uh, you just throw anything in there and it'll just incinerate whatever you throw in there. So that looks like it's uh, going pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the solo pod on there. Now you can see there, there's a place to feed in fuel. Yeah, she's burning now. Going to give it some good character. You really don't need much fuel in this thing. You just throw it in there. It's going to incinerate it. Doesn't matter what it is. Put frickin' plutonium in there, it's gonna incinerate it. It's so hot. She's steaming now. I am very impressed with this pot. It certainly was made for the solo stove. It's a match made in heaven.
I would like them to put some grooves in there, some indentations, so that it kind of sits on those prongs. I really think that would be a great addition to this kit. Now that black soot's going to wash off pretty easily. All right, we definitely have a boil now. It's been about 10 minutes. Looks like she's boiling now, baby. The bottom is, top's getting there. In about five seconds. You can see how clean that burns. How smooth it is. I mean, if there was a wind block, you could really see how evenly spread and consistent the flame is. It's an excellent stove. Anyways, folks, I'm going to enjoy my soup. Sundown's coming and i got to pack up. So it's been a blast, but it's time to go. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out. So in conclusion, I think that the Solo Stove Pod is a good investment. Uh, it's definitely uh, a nice accessory to add to your Solo Stove Kit. It's not only a pod, of course, it's also a carrying case. So it gives your Solo Stove a bit of extra protection. Uh, my only main criticism of the device was the lack of indentations in the bottom, which would have made it a bit more steady when you rested it on the three prongs of the stove. Uh, other than that, I think it's uh, I think it's a good deal with the help of some easy off and uh, some elbow grease. I was able to clean it up pretty much back to its natural condition. The solo stove, of course, as you can see, gains where gains a lot of character uh, but uh, doesn't definitely doesn't affect its functionality so let me know what you think about this uh, i think the price point is good i think the stove is good it's probably going to be in my kit for some time for many years to come thanks for watching canadian prepper out